In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a cloud effect in Photoshop. So hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Manny and you can find me on Facebook at Rita Pro. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a cloud effect in Photoshop. It's not really an effect that you can achieve with some filters, but we're going to merge in some other images into our background in order to create some really cool clouds on our image. Also, I'm going to show you guys how to do a little bit of a haze effect right away on top of that just to bring it a bit more to the real side again. Then also, I've been away for quite a long while, no tutorials on this channel, but you can stay tuned. I will roll out new tutorials every week from now on again. So yeah, let's get right away into the tutorial. Okay, so over in Photoshop, you guys can see here on the right hand side of my layers palette, I have my before and after, before and after. Now I'm not gonna show you guys a certain technique how to do it here with filters and creating clouds. It's mainly dropping in an original sky image and merging that together with your existing one. So as you guys can see over here, again, a blue one with a bit of clouds. So again, if you guys also do this, have a look at your background sky. It should mainly start with a little bit of a lighter area down here, going to a darker blue area at the top. And preferably not so much with clouds, animals, birds, everything in there, or cranes. Try to get an even sky that's mainly just blue or try to Photoshop it first blue and then on top of that you add your clouds. Now let's also start right away down here with the sample. I just want to show you guys what I did. First of all my background image then on top of that a bit of sky with a mask again, some curves adjustment layers, a bit of a halo effect that I want to show you guys and then just slightly some extra contrast which is up to you again if you add that or not. Okay and my final result. So great, let's actually delete this layer and I'm going to type here start and we're going to start right away out with this layer. So this is my before. Now I went into my library and searched for quite a long while until I found the right background. So over here I have a nice even background, the horizon is very low and I have a lot of sky to work with. So if you do the same also pay attention to that you have a lot of sky and that the clouds look maybe a little bit better than mine. So yeah, I think for this bright image it suits, but it's not the best image. But anyways, it will do for the tutorial. Okay, then also what I do take a look at is my horizon is quite nice and big. I have a lot of sky to work with. Maybe this would be interfering a little bit, This the mountain over here on the right hand side. But if not, you can always Photoshop this away. But for this image, it actually worked with me. So the first step that I do is hit right click here, rasterize the layer so it's just a bit smaller. I'm going to take the opacity also all the way down, something like 60-50% just to get a feeling where I am here at the moment. As you guys can also see, I dragged down a guideline here. So that's super simple, just move tool from the rulers here and dragging that down. So my horizon line is somewhere over here on the background image. Yeah, it could be up a little bit more. Here's the lowest spot, so I need to watch out for that. Okay, I'm going to accept it. And here my cloud effect in Photoshop, the second layer, actually, let's actually rename this to 2 or even sky so you guys know what's up, okay? And the sky layer, I'm having a look, that all works for me, just this little area over here, I need to Photoshop that out. Okay, great. So again, I'm going to switch this opacity to 100%, turn it off for the moment, and also take my guide layer here, remove that. And now we're going to work just with the magic wand, super simple, magic wand tool. I'm going to select all of the blue and it's not selecting, I'm on the wrong layer. So press Command D to get out of this. I'm working with a Mac. So if you're a Windows person, please press Control when I say Command. So now Control D for all the Windows people. Okay, second layer here, the Start. I'm going to select just the blue over here. Hold Shift on the keyboard so you get into the Add mode. Okay, and again and again and slowly selecting everything around. Don't worry too much about the trees here. We're going to Photoshop that in a minute. Okay, great. So on the Sky 2 layer, we can enable this again. We can literally now just hit the mask down here and it will right away create a mask. Now, there are two options to refine this. Either with right click on the mask and going to refine mask. You guys can also try that. And I have another tutorial on the channel about this. So you can either work with refine mask or if you want manually like I normally do with my brush to work that out. So what we're also going to do right away now. Okay, so for that, B on the keyboard or the brush tool over here. 
And I'm working with the Vacuum Intinuous Pro tablet, so I'm able via my tablet to switch my brush size really quickly. If you don't have that, use your open brackets and closing brackets to change the brush. Or again, hold Control and Alt together on the keyboard, press both together, and now move with your mouse left and right in order to change the size of the brush, your diameter. Or again, up and down to change the hardness quickly. Again, remember, you need to keep on holding Control and Alt together. I'm going to go all the way up so my hardness is set to zero. And now I'm going to just make my brush a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to start right away out with brushing just the horizon here. Again, remember, black foreground color, you need to switch this to white in order now to brush again in or again switch to brush away. So for me, I'm going to start right away out here with I say around 20% opacity, it was on 50. I'm actually going to go to 10% opacity. So this is very essential, working with your brush on low opacities. Okay, so first step that I'm going to do here is just with the tree, you guys can see it's a bit more blue in here, and the top is white because our selection wasn't the best. So what I'm going to do is just take the brush, make it nice and big, and slowly now, with the brush, try to work over this. Okay, switch foreground colors. And I'm going to just change this a bit more. Again, tap, 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 tap. I'm not holding the whole time the mouse. I'm tapping. Tap, 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 and go through my way. Okay, and over here as well, I want to do the same for the mountains. Let's maybe take the opacity all the way up so you guys can see the effect really quickly. This is now with 100% opacity. So now you're brushing away completely all the clouds, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to go in my history panel back a little bit and just switch this back to 10% because you guys can't really see what's happening. Okay, so with 10%, I'm tap, 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 tap. I'm going to go through a little bit and just tap my way through. Also making the brush a bit smaller and that's good for me already. So now I just worked in this area here because remember again, we had the little mountains here. Let's actually disable this, disable the layer. We have this area here, which I don't want to add. So I'm just brushing that completely away with a soft, feathered brush. Okay, enable the layer, and right away you guys can see this works a little bit again. I'm also going to take my brush over here and just break the edge a little bit. Okay, and remember we're removing obviously the sky now, so we need to add and fill some again. Also, a second thing that I want to talk about, okay, I'm just switching here again, so I'm brushing back in, as you guys can see now adding a bit of that white halo on top of the mountains. So that's what I exactly want to talk with you about right now, is that when you normally have a look at the horizon, wherever you are on a sunset or standing somewhere, and you're looking into the horizon, you will always see that the end of the horizon is quite bright going into a dark. So it starts down here being very bright, also over the mountains, even from the distance it's bright, then going into a lighter area, and then obviously dark. So remember these three stages. So we want to add a bit of more halo here and a white glow onto the image as well. I'm just going to go to view and clear the guides quickly. Okay, zoom out again. So that's my first step. On top of that, I am also going to go to adjustments and curve adjustment layers and just slightly going to brighten up here the highlights just very subtly and going to hold alt on the keyboard, go between my layers so this layer again clips to only the sky. Again, remember here's the sky so it only clips to that. I just want to brighten that slightly. Great, next step, we're going to create a new empty layer from down here. And now it's very important to take a gradient tool. So select the gradient over here. We have white going into black. Let's have a look quickly. That is correct. So if I'm going to double tap, select a gradient that's white on the left with 100% opacity going into black. You can also double click on here and just change it again. Okay, and what I'm going to do is now hold shift on the keyboard so I get a really nice uh, straight line and just make a small gradient, just like so. Might be a little bit too small actually, I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. Yep, let's try that again, so just a few times, that's a bit too big. Okay, almost there, I think, yep. This should be the size, yeah, great. So that's what I'm gonna work with, so basically just on a new layer, a white stripe in the back, and the top and bottom is black. So remember, I'm gonna change the blending options now, so we only see the white. So let's go to normal here to our blending options and switch this to screen. So this means everything that's white will be shown and everything that's black will be hidden. Okay, so as you guys can see over here. 
Now, let's also drag down another guideline. Our horizon is somewhere over here. And I'm basically going to move this layer 4 line here just on top of our guideline here. Great, so that the horizon becomes more white again and brighter. Okay, let's remove our guideline. And first step again, opacity, take that all the way down. Maybe just even to like a 20, 25, 30%. This is uh, something you have to play with. It's different for every image. Okay, 30%, I think I'm happy with that. And now obviously we want this to just be a bit more on the background, not so much here on the tree. It does help with bleeding the image, but I want to actually remove this a bit. So again, on here, a mask, B for the brush. And again, now I'm gonna work with like say 40%. I'm just pressing four on the keyboard. This switches it to 40% opacity. And let's have a look, switching our foreground colors to black. And now slowly, it might be a little bit too hard. So let's actually work with 20%, okay? And I'm just literally brushing this away a little bit, just on the trees here in the foreground. Okay, a little bit less. And this, I'm obviously doing this a bit quicker. Take a bit more time when you guys do this. Okay, and remember my brush is still feathered super, super a lot, like a, really a lot. <laughs> Okay, and brushing a bit more. And great, I'm actually happy with that. So this is again the before and after, before and after. And you can obviously take down the opacity a bit more, brush for a little bit longer. I don't wanna brush too long on this. Okay, last step again, adjustments, curve adjustment layers. And I'm just gonna add overall contrast a bit. Yep, like, uh, well, the highlights, not so much. And then you can also decide where you want to put a bit more contrast again over the whole image because we added so much brightness to this. Maybe the opacity even down a bit. This is a personal thing. I'm playing a bit. You don't really need to do this. Maybe this is just a simple step for you. And from here on, you're going on with, again, color adjustments or merging in some new things. Okay, select all of it. I'm going to press Command G and put this together in a group as sample two. Okay, and also make a master shortcut with command shift, alt shift and I. Okay, so I have everything together and I can quickly show you guys again the before. Let's zoom in a little bit more over here. The before and after, before and after. So super easy technique, how to add in a sky into your background. Again, remember to check the edges over here. You might also want to blur them a little bit if, they, if the selection is too hard here at the top, but for me, I think for this tutorial, it worked quite well. Okay, that's basically it, but I want to show you guys quickly one more thing. Let me just drag in all my files here to show you guys where I've also used this technique on a previous image that I've did for a client. Okay, so let's just move that one and two over here, three and four. Okay, and let's move this whole image over here so I can show it to you guys. And again, over here, you guys can see this is the before. Let's start right away out with number one. So picture number one, this is the before. And then I went right away into adding just the background in. So you guys can see again, somewhere over here was my horizon line. Okay, let's go down a little bit more. Horizon line somewhere over here. And then again, add it in the background. I paid a lot of attention to the background, to the sky, clouds, and also bleeding these over a little bit. So there's a bit of white halo going over the mountains. Here I didn't Photoshop too much because obviously the car is hiding that and the persons. Then second option here, or the third picture on top, is obviously merging in the people. And now for the final technique is again adding a white halo to or white stripe of light to the horizon. So have a look over this, boom and also adding it a little bit onto the foreground here, onto the car and onto the persons, but a bit more into the background. So I also did that on a few different layers. Yeah, so that is it guys. Basically an easy effect, how to do a cloud effect in Photoshop. Again, just working with some marks, some brushes and also adding that real look again in the end with brushing out the haze effect. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit me up with a thumbs up Share this with all your buddies who are new in Photoshop and retouching. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. Okay, and you are still here. So this means you might be interested in some more tutorial. Yep, so just check here on your right hand side. There are a few more tutorials, some of the popular ones and some that we think are really awesome. So yeah, go and click away.